let's talk about the start stop feature for SQL managed instance. Start stop represents a capability uh, or the ability to stop and start the general purpose SQL managed instance. It, this is a tool or let's say a feature that helps you to optimize costs of your dev test environments, QN environments, or any other environment that is not running 24 cell. What is the start stop feature? It is a new way to optimize cost by stopping the instance when not in use. It is compatible with reserved instance pricing, which means that not only that you can optimize your compute and license costs, but you can also over provision your reserved instance uh, uh, reserved, ins uh, reserved instance purchases as they can now be shared among multiple resources that are being that are up and running in different periods of time during the day or during the week. When instances is stopped, your compute and license are not charged. And how you can start or stop your instance? Well, there are two ways to achieve this: manually execute the start and stop actions, and we will see this. Uh, later in action, or you can create a predefined built-in schedule and automate all the start and stop events. Stopping your instance will take about five minutes, and uh, after the immediately your uh, billing will be disabled. While start command takes a bit longer to get all the resources back and get instance up and running, but it should take around twenty minutes. And as you can see. This feature is only available for general purpose service tier. As you mentioned, there are two ways to stop your instance. Manual way, where you have a button for start and stop, or schedule the start stop events through built-in scheduler that is child resource or SQL managed instance. But let's see two available uh, options for starting and stopping the managed instance. On the overview page of the SQL Manager instance, at the very top, we can see two new commands, one for stopping Manager instance and one for starting Manager instance. As this instance is online, we are not, uh, there is no need for starting it, so the available option is to stop it. These two commands present a manual way to start and stop Manager instance and are a good fit if you don't have predictable schedules, but you need an ad hoc way uh, at ad hoc moments to start at stop the instance. But what if you have the regular schedules and you want to create, uh, as we called, the working hours uh, for, for your managed instance? This is available through start and stop schedule, a built-in schedule mechanism for starting and stopping the instance. By visiting the start stop schedule page, you can see a schedule that I previously created. It has the time zone which will uh, honor the defined items and the start and the stop items. That consists of start day and start time and stop day and stop time. So schedule items represent a pair of start and stop events. And what is important to mention is that these events represent the time when start or stop event will be triggered not when instance will be online or stopped. So as start operation typically lasts about 20 minutes, I created a schedule item that will trigger start command at 7.40 a.m. And I expect that instance is online around 8 a.m. Let's add a new item because here we have scheduled for Monday, two items actually for Monday, Let's say that this uh, managed instance needs to be up and running in the uh, before noon and late afternoon. Then on Tuesday, starting a, uh, from period between around 8.20 to 4 p.m. and so on on Wednesday, th Thursday. And I want to add one more for Friday as during the weekend, I, need, uh, I don't use my managed instance. So on Friday, I will start, start in 7.40. So it's up and running around 8 and I will stop it at uh, 4 p.m. I can see that my item is now added and I will adjust, for example, this Tuesday. So it, uh, it starts a bit earlier as I want my instance to wait for me once I am for my 
laptop. I will apply. And this schedule will start to apply starting the next day or the next uh, starting next event from this point in time. And now I will go on the overview page and I will simply stop my instance. Yes, I'm sure I want to do this and start optimizing my cost. Thank you for watching this demo and enjoy the new feature.